Hello, in this video, we will be going over the basics of talk to, and I'll be showing you what the dashboard looks like and some of the functionality. First thing you're going to want to do is go to www.talk.to and you're going to want to sign up for a new account. So you simply just go in here and sign up. Uh, you just put your name, email address, and then, you know, you'll create a password. So it's a free account. Okay. And once you uh, sign up, go ahead and log in. Okay. So this is what the main dashboard looks like. Um, and with this, you're going to see just some, some stats of live visitors, um, some, some stats here, the latest, you can look at historical, you won't spend too much time on this dashboard, but it is nice to see some of the blog posts that they do. Um, here's a, you know, nine things you probably didn't know you can do with talk to. So it's, it's really good to, to read these every once in a while. So you can get a better understanding of how this works. Uh, but we'll just do the basics right now in this video. And uh, up here is going to be uh, your profile. So when you uh, come in, make sure that you're online. And when you log off, make sure that you can put to the away status. OK, uh, you'll also be um, invited to accept chats from certain sites. And when you get invited, you'll get a notification up here. You just want to go through and make sure that these are turned on. OK, so you should have all of these on uh, for whatever pages that you'll be managing or monitoring. OK, so you want to have your desktop notifications on so that way um, you can see it come through and your sound notifications. You want to make sure those are on and then you're going to want to come in here and manage your sounds and make sure it's under enabled and then a new chat. There's a whole bunch of different sounds in here and they can be kind of annoying. Some of them are very annoying. So go through and just, um, you know, pick the ones that's going to be the least annoying to you, but ones that you definitely want to hear. So, you know, when a chat's coming in, so you can also see and test out what they, which ones you want. You can see there's a whole bunch of different ones in here, so you can go through and then you can have it repeat how many times. Um, I usually leave mine on like four or five times. So you can see what this one sounds like just by pressing this button. Okay, so this one when is, is when a new chat, that means when someone's coming in. Uh, this one is uh, a new message. So as someone has uh, maybe you've already accepted the chat and they're typing back and forth to you every time they type a message, you know, you can do that. Um, any disconnect, uh, you want to have that. Sometimes when if your internet goes out or if an agent disc is get, if you're getting disconnected for whatever reason, you'll get that sound. And then if another agent message messages you, you can get, uh, you know, pick that sound too. Okay. So go ahead and manage those. Um, and let's go back here. Uh, need help, knowledge base, all that kind of stuff. And then obviously if you want to pick the, 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 um, you know, the, the language that you want to use. Okay. You won't really have to do too much with these unless we start creating groups. Um, and then show on, show all ongoing chats. If you click this, this will be, um, if you click only my ongoing chats, but you probably want to have this clicked on so you can see everyone that's chatting in case you can join and help them. If you have any notifications, they'll be up in here. Okay. Um, and again, we're going back to our dashboard, which is this main screen here. And if you if we move down here, this is where it's going to be monitoring. So you'll see everyone that's active, that's on one of your pages. You'll see them. Uh, you'll see this is uh, kind of their their ID. Um, this is their host name. Okay. Um, and then you can see exactly what page they're on at the time. So if you, it's easy sometimes if you want to see what exactly what they're looking at, you can click over to here and open this up and you can see exactly what page they're kind of looking at. It will bring you right to the page. Okay. So that's very helpful when they have questions and you're trying to see what, what exactly they're looking at. It will always have the name of the page and then the web, the web address. This will show you the time that it's people have been on. And some people stay idle because maybe they just left their screen up and you'll see like 11 minutes, 12 minutes, 20 minutes. And this could be either someone that is on your team, maybe looking at something that have it, has it up. So you don't really have to, to worry about it too much, but this will, this will show you that, uh, you can see the active chats. There's no active chats going on 
And then if people leave, and we'll, uh, we'll span on this in, in the next video about messaging, but as people leave um, maybe an, uh, an offline message, if you're not able to say if you're sleeping and, and people come on and they ask you a question, it will be sent, uh, a message will be sent and you can come in here and um, you can see that there's messages that you can send out. And we'll get more into that in the next video because that's a little bit more involved. OK, here's a reporting tab. Uh, you know, you won't spend too much time, but if you want to get some of your stats and your reporting, um, this was really for people that are managing. <clears throat> and if you're managing a group of people, you can see what's going on, making sure things that are getting done and in a timely manner. These are add-ons. You won't have to worry about this right now, but you can see some of the type of add-ons that you would like. Um, so if you select this, you can see there's a whole bunch of things that, you know, they upsell you with, like you can hire live agents, video and voice sharing, you can remove the branding, all that kind of stuff is, is under here. And then this is your admin, and we'll get more into this in one of the videos. But basically, this is going to be where you set up your uh, your widget. Uh, you can see uh, all the settings in here uh, for, for each page that you have uh, will be here. Um, so this is where you're going to do a lot of your initial setup uh, when you're when you're adding this onto your site. But if you're just, you know, uh, if you're working with a group of people that have already set this up, you really won't have to do this too much. Uh, they've already set up the widget settings, but you can see how you come in here. These are the widget settings and there's just a whole bunch of widget name, um, you know, a whole bunch of things here, but these should already be set up for you in the appearance, content, all that type of stuff, uh, scheduler, uh, your actual, your code to put on the website. But again, all these things will be set up for you. So you won't have to spend too much time in here. Okay. The next video we'll start, we'll, we'll tech, we'll talk more about the, how to, the active chats and the messaging and because um, that's where you're going to spend the majority of your time.